Hi, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the FB Flywheel plugin. So we've activated our plugin, we've entered our license key, and we've now landed on the dashboard page. And you'll see we have a number of different options as we move through the navigation bar. We have our dashboard, we have our settings page, we have subscribers, and we have analytics. Let's watch walk through each one of these individually. So on the dashboard page, you can do a number of things. Number one is you can create a new campaign. So if you click on this button, you'll be able to walk through the different steps in order to create create the campaign and show it on your page. And below that you can see the, all of the campaigns we've currently created. Now I've already gone ahead and I've created a campaign here and you can see uh, based on the numbers that we've collected uh, how this tool actually works. So you can see the number of visitors that have landed on the page where you've got your Facebook Connect button and you can see the number of leads, the number of people that actually click through that button and your conversion rate. You can see the number of leads today and the total number of leads. And for each campaign that we'll have listed here, you can edit the campaign, you can delete it, or you can view the analytics and we'll cover that uh, shortly. On the next tab, the settings here we ha is where you get your Facebook callback URL. Now in a different video I'll show you how to create your Facebook app and where to put this callback URL. Then with, under the subscribers tab you can see a listing of all of the subscribers, all of the people that connected through your Facebook connect button and have been added to your mailing list. So I've you know I've hidden out for the purposes of security here I've hidden out the people's names but you can see that we get the type of demographic graphics like the username, their email address, the their gender, age, birth date, location, and the date that they were added. And if you want, you can delete them from this list. You can do a number of things too uh, in terms of managing this list. You can filter based on campaigns, or you can find an email address, or you can filter based on name or age. And you can also export this listing to a CSV file if you decide to do so. Excellent for uh, Facebook ads if you wanted to target this particular list. And then finally under the analytics tab, here you can see a snapshot of what's happening in terms of leads and views to your Facebook Connect button. So at the time of this recording, it's Monday morning, I've got a few views of the Connect button and no leads. But if I you know, if this was the end of the week, you'd see some more data here. But if I wanted to, I can also look at uh, monthly data. And now you can see that for the month of January, we had so many leads and, and so many um, visit views of that particular Connect button, and same thing for February. So you can see now how well your Facebook Connect button is performing. And then finally, under the Demographics tab, you can see who connected through your Facebook Connect campaign in terms of male versus female and their age groups fantastic information and in, in to be, be better able to understand you the demographics of your market.